Hello and welcome back to another Minion video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni, and I am incredibly happy to be able to bring you this one today. I threw my gill at this particular Minion, it has to be said, and that's the Shark Sucker Class Insubmersible Minion. This cost me 6 million gill on my server, which is very, very steep, but after continuous efforts to get it myself failed, I couldn't be bothered with it any longer, so I made someone much richer today on Ragnarok. This this minion then is actually obtained from the new Sea of Ash dive locations obtained via progression of your submersible missions and levelling up the rank of your own submarine through the V3 company crafting system. This minion then is particularly rare and there's a reason for that, so let's take a look at it. Summon your Shark Sucker class insubmersible minion. Warning, do not immerse. Built by a mammoth voyager in a moment of boredom, this clockwork ship raises several questions about machine ethics by its very existence. Another, perhaps more significant question it raises is, why build a functioning model submersible and not make it watertight? The hidden text reads, not water, anything but water, a quote there of the Zahar Ak Hatchling. What an incredible looking model then, I couldn't actually believe the size of this when I first laid my eyes on it and summoned it. It's a good amount bigger than most people would have expected from this minion, but the detail on this is frankly amazing. I could honestly stare at this for hours, just watching the impeller rotate and it bob around. It's a far cry then from the earlier minions we had in the game in 2.0, bringing to mind the wind up airships and the like, which in comparison look very small and very insignificant. This then is certainly something special and something worthwhile to add to the collection. This minion will react to emotes with your Mammoteer collection title on your character. A handover emote will get the submarine to fly over to your hand. And a poke will trigger its idle animation loop to fly around in a circle near you, which looks really cool. It's fairly rare to see people with this at the moment, but the price and its rarity to get it, whichever way you decide, will surely put a lot of people off. Is this the best use of 5 to 6 million gil? I would say not really, previously, but that's before I was offered a medium sized plot on my server, but I'd have to pay 400 million gil, and he simply laughed at my offer of 45 million. So you know, I regret nothing after seeing the state of housing on Ragnarok, and at least I have something cool to add to my collection. It's a wonderful minion, definitely one I wanted in my collection since I knew about its existence, and hopefully this video gives you an idea if you want it as well. Thank you so very much for your viewership today and all week. Enjoy your evenings wherever you may be and I'll see you all next time.